What is going on you guys and welcome back to another street build in the series where today we will be covering the Chevrolet Cobalt SS. Civic SI came out, it was one of the best selling coupes in its bracket, gaining status on the streets, which encouraged the American car makers to try and take the crown from Honda, and that is where the Chevrolet Cobalt SS comes in. Before we start, let's speed around an overview of the Cobalt SS. There are three different versions that were ever sold, a 2 liter inline 4 cylinder that was supercharged, another that was turbocharged, and a naturally aspirated 2.4 liter inline 4. The highest of these trims was the turbo version, having a whopping 260 horsepower at 5300 RPM, and this came with a 5 speed manual that helped it to put down 260 pound feet of torque. Now let's get into the build. For this build, we are going to assume that we are starting with the turbo model of the Cobalt SS as it will make upgrading a lot cheaper and easier for making that sweet horsepower. This starts with some exterior customization first. You know the deal. Wheels, tires, and suspension. Starting with wheels, I've decided to go with the Torin TR60 17x7.5 with a plus 42 offset. These should be a perfect width for this build and help give the wheels more of a presence with this car. Now onto the tires. These wheels are going to be wrapped in the Toyo Tires Extenza HP2 which are 225 by 45 R17 and are all season tires so they're perfect for any season that you throw at it. These should also help to give a lot of grip for once those horsepower numbers start getting bumped up for this build. Next up, we got the thing that will slam this car down to the ground, help with cornering, but honestly, make it a little bumpier of a ride. That is where the BC Racing BR Series coilovers come in, which are a staple for this channel of coils. It comes with the whole kit and will make this car feel and look so much better. Let's make some power now, which I'm sure a lot of you have been waiting for. So to prepare for our stage three kit from ZZP, there are some precautionary things that need to be taken care of, which include forged rods and forged pistons. The forged rods are coming from, what do you know, ZZP, and they're Ecotech 2.0 connecting rods that are good for more than 500 wheel torque. Pairing with these rods are JE forged pistons, also from ZZP, that are good for more than 1,000 horsepower, and they boast about this design, offering wider pistons, and they also recommend to not sleeve the block. Now we get to the big upgrade, what I'm sure all of you have been waiting for, the thing that will pump this Cobalt up to being a monster on the street that is also from ZZP, and that is the Cobalt LNF Turbo Upgrade, which includes a Borg Warner S257 Turbo, ZZP Charge Pipes, ZZP Intercooler, TIAL 38mm Wastegate, ZZP Turbo Intake, ZZP Air Filter, ZZP 304SS Exhaust Manifold, ZZP Stainless Downpipe with an Atmosphere Dump, Oil Feed and Drain Kits, Manual Boost Controller, a new ECM, and all of the hoses, fittings, bolts, and gaskets that you would need to complete this build. Surprisingly, with just this kit and the small mods that we added before, this can push the 260 horsepower of the stock Cobalt SS to a whopping 375 to 425 wheel horsepower. That comes out to being anywhere from like 420 to 470 horsepower, which is an astronomical jump over stock. Of course, there's some other modifications that we should make to be certain about the reliability of this car. And this starts with making sure that we are providing enough fueling. The ZZP Iridium 9 one-step colder spark plugs and an AEM high flow intake fuel pump. Now, since we're making all this newfound power from the Chevy Cobalt SS, it's time to take some safety precautions to make sure that we can stop this thing. That is where the Power Stop Z23 Evolution Sport Brake Kit comes in, and this will help to ensure that we are gonna be able to have the stopping power, which is perfect since we are taking this thing into almost double the horsepower that the car produced from the factory. A few things that we still have to clean up is getting a clutch for this bad boy, and that is coming from DXD Racing, which shouldn't be too aggressive for driving this car as a daily, but it's gonna be good for the power level that we're going for. Now, in addition to the previous fueling upgrades we did, we do have to add some injectors as a precautionary, as I do not think that the stock ones are gonna be able to hold up to the horsepower level. And of course, we have to make this thing sound a lot better than the factory exhaust does and add some more airflow, and that is exhaust from Vibrant.
With adding all these mods, of course this will not be the fastest thing on the road, or maybe even take down some newer cars that have crazy horsepower from the factory, but I still think that this will be a crazy enjoyable car for anyone looking for a little street rocket. It's surprising though that on these cars there's not that much that needs to be upgraded, that a normal car wouldn't need to push more power, and with the help of ZZP's turbo kit they make it very easy to have all the parts required just bundled into one package. This is where the build comes to an end though, I feel that since it was just like upgrading the turbo and supporting stuff with the help of ZZP that this build feels a little bit lackluster but nonetheless i'm sure it would be a blast to drive thank you all so much for watching and as you know i try to get these videos out every sunday and i'm starting to rekindle that drive for these types of videos again on the channel so i hope that you guys enjoyed this video make sure to leave a comment down below of anything that you would change add hate about this build and if you have any recommendations on cars that you would like to see in the future don't hesitate to drop those ideas down in the comments too because i always like to see what you guys would want to see with that being said though that's all that i got for you guys today thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video